I've had a career in radio and TV studios um, and, and, and written several books and trained BBC newsreaders across the United Kingdom. And I'm kind of bringing all that together and putting it in a book and thought I would bring you these short daily podcasts as I write the book, kind of paragraph by paragraph, chapter by chapter. And, and, and over the course of the weeks and the months and possibly the years as well, everything on breathing and reading and inflection and projection and all sorts of things in between. Diction, articulation and pronunciation is what we've been talking about over the last few days. And people's names can cause a bit of a problem because, like places, they can often be awkward to pronounce. Um, uh, uh, we, we had an example, didn't we, a few days ago of uh, uh, Smith and Smythe, uh, and, and also Jose and Jose and, and things. Uh, here's another one for you. If you want to write this down, um, how, how would you say this? It's, um, it's a surname. It's a British surname. C-H-O-L-M-O-N-D-E-L-E-Y. Uh, answers at the end of the show. C H O L M O N D E L. -E -Y. E Y. How would you say that person's surname? And also, there is a, a, a surname which is fantastically different. Um, in fact, I used to work with someone with this surname. Um, D E A T H, which they pronounced as Diath. You may have come across that yourself, the surname Diath. Um, I, I, and here's another one for you, which you may want to write down. Again, answers at the end of the show. M-O-N-T-M-O-R-E-N-C-Y. M-O-N-T-M-O-R-E-N-C-Y. OK. And you may be familiar with the acclaimed British actress. She's, she's, she's rather... She's rather superb. Uh, she was in the uh, long-running um, uh, British soap opera Coronation Street and put in a superb performance over several years and has gone on to even bigger and better things than, that, than even that. And, and that's the world's longest-running soap opera. Um, Julie Hessman-Halge. She's got a really unusual name, but her IMDb page uh, tells people how to pronounce it. That's that's how uh, unusual it is, and that's uh, how often people get it wrong. And it actually says, quote, Julie's surname is pronounced Hesmanhalge, with the stress on the first and third syllables. Hesmanhalge. Yes, I did it. I did it correctly. Yeah. So, so when you get to that kind of situation where people keep mispronouncing your surname, that can uh, be quite infuriate. Or perhaps you just let it go. Let it go, uh, like uh, like the song from Frozen. So, if you're recording a script or a demo away from a studio where there's no one to ask and unsure about a pronunciation, my advice would be think about the possible pronunciation options and record each of them so a director has alternative cuts and you are covered. You've given them alternatives, you're not going to be called back into the studio. Time may not be an issue, but setting up the studio and the mics and just getting the same acoustics just to slip in a word or a phrase or a sentence or... Oh, Goodness knows, saying a whole script again or a whole ebook narration again, that could be awful, couldn't it? So, so check before you go in and do that. Those answers C H O L M O N D E L E Y Chumley. Chumley, not Cholmondely. <laughs> it's actually just Chumley. And the other one, Montmorency. Montmorency. Uh, <clears throat> Eyewitness John Montmorency says at least a dozen police vehicles are at the scene. Uh, kind of newsreader voice. Tomorrow, how to make a word easier to say. And also we're going to be talking about word blindness and also some tips on saying kind of awkward things like, like acronyms and dates and numbers and scores still to come over the next few days on Get A Better Broadcast podcast and video voice. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. <laughs>